So were there people who, who did not like Andy Warhol? I was there for the first shooting, and I saved a motherfucker's life by Tell jumping me. the gunman. Tell me about and that. And smashing a window. Tell me. Well, a gunman came in, and well, Nico and I and Paul Morrissey and uh, four or five other people, we were there, and a gunman came in and fired a couple of shots and uh, made us all kneel down on the floor and put a girl's rain hat on Andy, and I thought he's insulting a genius, you know. That made me furious. Plus, I was on Quaaludes, so I had no fear. And uh, then he handed the fucking gun to Paul Morris, who just sat there like an idiot. But we didn't know that he had a backup on the stairs. And Paul was about to let the, the uh, gunman take his gun back, because he was teasing us. And then he was going to take somebody as a hostage, probably Andy. They had a big car down. So I jumped him. You jumped the gunman? Yeah, it was like jumping a brick shit house. Yeah. And uh, then I then I took he put a big rain hat on me, a girl. I went to the window and punched it dead center. It exploded on wow. 47th Street. And the YMCA across the street just emptied out. And the gunman ran. And I took the frame of the thing and threw it downstairs after the. So they ever catch him? No, and Andy wouldn't press charges or call the police or anything. Asshole. He was an asshole. Ass Warhol. Sort of. <laughs> Tell me about the second shooting. What? The second shooting. Well, that was Valerie Solanas. And uh, we'd just come back from uh, oh, San Diego Surf or something. One of our wonderful films. And I wish I'd been there because... Paul ran into another room, and uh, they were all cowards, and Andy said, oh, what are you doing? And she shot him. I would have jumped her. I, I'm, well, I'm unpredictable anyway. Maybe if, maybe I would have uh, got shot myself. I would have been dead myself. But a year later, I opened my mail, because I don't open my mail very much. It was a letter from Valerie saying, I'm going to get you, Andy, and Viva. Wow. If I'd opened the letter, then I would have gone to the police, I think. But that was before the big shooting. So what, what was behind her? What was she so pissed off at that she wanted to shoot? Promises, promises. Andy made promises to everybody. He said, oh, I'll do this, I'll do that. Got him into big trouble. So why would he make promises to people? Not It was easy. Minimum of effort and maximum error. He's Nietzsche, pure Nietzsche. And the evil. Hitler, you know. So you're comparing Andy Warhol to Adolf Hitler? He, uh, Hitler was nicer. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs>